My childhood a friend went through my boyfriend's phone and found pictures of him having sex with me while I was sleeping. She told everyone and now my boyfriend is being ostracized by our friends. Except it was my idea for him to do it in the first place. Throw away because of the sensitive subject matter. So, there are three main players in the situation, my childhood friend, Sarah, 31F, my longtime partner, John, 34M, and myself, 29F. I've known that Sarah has had a crush on John for a long time. It's kind of an open secret in our group that no one talks about, but other than some longing looks and awkward interactions, Sarah has never crossed any boundaries. But because she does have this crush, she does stuff such as leaning over his shoulder to look at his phone screen and doing that playful shoulder slap that people do. My boyfriend and I had discussed it and decided, together, not to address it unless her crush became a problem since it seemed harmless. Apparently, when she was doing that recently, she caught a glimpse of what looked like a photo of him having sex with me, so later, she went back and went through his gallery, which is full of photos and videos of him having sex with me while I'm sleeping. She took photos with her phone and then went and told everybody, except me, that my boyfriend is assaulting me in my sleep. She apparently showed them her evidence as well. I found this out the next day when another friend messaged me, incredibly concerned. Now people are threatening to go to the cops, trying to stage interventions, and someone even told my dad I'm being abused. But here's the thing, it's my fetish in the first place, not his. He took the photos and videos for me. The day after our sessions, he sends them to me so I can watch them because it's better than porn. But nobody believes me. They're accusing me of protecting my boyfriend and covering for a rapist. I don't know what to do. I'm scared that someone is going to call the police on him. How do I fix my friendships and convince everybody that I'm the one who wanted it? There is no text communication to exonerate my boyfriend, but I do have pages of internet history from my phone full of limp porn and sleeping fetish fantasy literature. I'm tempted to pull up my internet history and air my dirty laundry to fix this. Please help. I'm so embarrassed, frustrated, and honestly, really, really f***ing mad. Edit, since this needs to be said, yes, my boyfriend does have a passcode on his phone. It's a four-digit code. Edit. Yes, I know she isn't my friend, which is why a friend is in quotes. I have three friends on my side with this, so it's not everybody. Just mostly everybody. I was upset and generalizing last night. I am in the US. My boyfriend does have a passcode on his phone. Seriously. Stop blaming him. This is definitely not his fault. Edit again since people just want to try to blame my boyfriend and me. We attended a barbecue where everybody left their phones inside. We thought we were in a trusted, safe place. You guys are being a little mean about this. Went to the police and will update when I can. Minor update. I went to the police last night, alone. After everything that was said, I was nervous about having John with me, just in case my consent wasn't enough for them. Really? Y'all made me nervous. I went in and told the police that pornographic videos of me were taken from my boyfriend's phone by a woman, and then distributed around to two dozen people. At first, the officer at the window was like, I think that's a crime? Maybe? I've got to call my supervisor. That happened twice before the police were like, okay, this might be a civil suit, but we don't know. We're going to take an information report and send an officer to speak with her to ask her to delete the photos and videos. I gave my report and left. About 15 minutes later, I got a phone call from the local PD. They told me that they thought my boyfriend might be the victim of a sexploitation crime based on my comments. My comments are that Sarah has a vested interest in breaking apart my relationship to sexually pursue John, and this interest was probably the reason she stole the videos in the first place. They suggested finding a lawyer since law enforcement apparently has a shaky grasp on the laws in my state. Well, they told me that just in case it was a civil suit, I'd have a lawyer retained, and said lawyer could send a cease and desist. So, that's about it. A bunch of hemming and hawing and I don't know. They'll attempt to get the videos deleted, but cannot seize the phone without a warrant. I'm moving forward with both this and a social media announcement today. That half-blurred nude everyone's talking about is Rick Astley. Please, go ahead and depixelized it or whatever. The other pixelized nudes are from a link about copywriting your nudes. Please read the post before commenting.
So, a couple of things have happened in the last few days, and I figured you guys would like to hear what the police finally settled on. First, I'd like to clear up something first, the theft and distribution of this media were, in no way, shape, or form, the fault of my partner. He is just as much a victim of a crime as I am, if not more. This has been an emotionally tumultuous time for him. He is my partner and my foremost concern here is him. It's honestly absolutely terrible that so many people blamed him for this situation. I spoke to a lawyer and my dad. The lawyer is my father's friend who is giving me advice for free. If this goes to court, he'll be representing us. Anyways. Monday, I got a call from a very polite female officer, asking if both my boyfriend and myself could come into the station to make a criminal report. The first officer to phone me was mistaken, while this does fall under revenge porn, it doesn't fit to sexploitation. She would have had to actually coerce him into sex acts for that. In my state, this is only a misdemeanor crime. Fortunately, it's a charge for every imaged stolen slash shared. It also matters that there are two victims. The police spoke to the people whose names I provided, most of which confirmed that Sarah had shared the photos. They'll be taking her phone as evidence and they'll ensure that the media is 100% destroyed. That all made both me and John happy, but as a lot of people pointed out, this stuff could easily already be on the internet. All of this has been approved by my partner before anyone asks. So, I turned around and submitted copyrights for all of it. I spent a shit ton of money copywriting over a hundred images and videos. Then I paid for a domain name and made a website, all it says is, under construction. Then I registered John and myself on several different pornographic media hosting sites and posted, content pending copyrights. Then, I posted on Facebook. Recently, someone I consider a friend broke into John's phone and stole images. She then proceeded to share these images with some of my closest friends. Not only am I disappointed, hurt, and betrayed, but this person placed John in a very disturbing position. One where he had to defend himself from sexual assault accusations. This person did not come to me with these concerns, deciding that she would rather gossip with others under the guise of a concern. Had I actually been assaulted, this person would have been spreading horrible moments of my life to others, taking away my voice as a victim. How horrific, how absolutely monstrous does a person have to be to do something like that? In actuality, this person stole intimate videos that were, in no way, intended for her. Stolen is the best word for this media because, well, most of you know me as an entrepreneur. I own a small business. I pick up freelance jobs. I dabble in several money-making ventures. None of this is a consistent income, so John and I have been brainstorming on how I could possibly generate a passive income. So, we started making pornographic media of a relatively popular kink. We had generated enough content to finally build an online following, and then our content was stolen and John's name was dragged through the dirt. Shame on all of you who have participated in the shit flinging and pot stirring. Because of this person and all who participated, I have had to out John and myself as sex workers. I've had to speak to the police, a lawyer, my dad. Shame on all of you. From this point on, any person sharing these copyrighted images and videos will personally hear from my lawyer. If anyone has legitimate concerns about my relationship, come to my face instead of spreading bullshit behind my back. Thank you. Since then, I've been receiving non-stop calls and messages from people apologizing, asking questions, and, unsurprisingly, people are arguing about my expectation of privacy on Facebook. Sarah tried to call, but I hit ignore and texted her, you may contact my lawyer, and then gave her the number. She hasn't responded. All in all, I'd say that things are looking up. Sarah is, rightfully, being charged with a crime or 12. John's name is clear legally. Important people in my life know that I'm not being abused. People are reaching out to John to either apologize for misjudging the situation or to congratulate him on being a porn star. So that's good, I guess. I want to thank everyone who gave me good advice and urged me to go to the police and speak to a lawyer. Edit. To everyone that is saying this is fake based on the timeline, it is possible to speak to both a lawyer and the police in a four-day period. I submitted the copyrights online from my bed. Y'all are apparently just bad at adulting. I wasn't going to sit on my ass while my partner's name was sullied by horrible accusations. I was, and still am, angry. So, I got shit done. 
Edit, I am not releasing the videos. Final edit. This is getting out of hand so I'll be logging off. People asked for an update, so they got it. Copied from a comment I posted. Nobody seems to understand that this isn't about getting Sarah arrested. My lawyer told me that, no, John could not get in trouble for what we're doing and, yes, I could go ahead and post on Facebook to try to control the narrative. He did not give me advice on the criminal case because my interest wasn't, and still isn't, the criminal case. As of now, I've achieved everything I wished to do. The police are going to ensure that the videos get deleted. I don't give a f if she's charged.